So notice that if the set x together with the relation of less than is a simply ordered set, then less than or equal to is also a relation on the set x, which we can define in terms of the relation strictly less than. In particular, A is less than or equal to B means that A is less than B or A is equal to B. Further, the relation less than or equal to is a total ordering on the set X. We can actually prove a stronger result. So as an exercise, show that the set X together with the relation less than is a simply ordered set. If and only if the set X together with the relation less than or equal to is a totally ordered set. Okay, so new definition. Let the set X together with the relation less than be a simply ordered set. Given two elements, A and B, in the set X, such that A is less than B, There are four subsets of the set X called the intervals determined by the elements A and B. what we call the open interval from A to B, which is the set of all those elements X in the set X, such that A is strictly less than X and X is strictly less than B. What we call the half open interval from A to B, inclusive of A, which is the set of all those elements in the set X, such that A is less than or equal to X and X is less than B, strictly less than B what we call the half open interval from A to B inclusive of B which is the set of all those elements in the set X such that A is strictly less than X and X is strictly or rather is less than or equal to B and finally what we call the closed interval from A to B which is the set of all those elements X in the set X such that A is less than or equal to X and x is less than or equal to b. So let the set x together with the relation less than be a simply ordered set. Where the cardinality of the underlying set X is greater than or equal to 2 and let the collection script B be the collection of all subsets of the following types
all open intervals from A to B, all half open intervals from A sub naught inclusive to B, where A sub naught is the least element of the set X, and all half open intervals from A to B sub naught inclusive of B sub naught where B sub naught is the greatest element in the set X. Then the collection script B is a basis for a topology on the set X called the order topology. So as an exercise, show that the collection script B satisfies the two conditions for a topology generated by a basis. There are several cases to consider. Now the intervals of the form from A to B not inclusive of A nor B are called open intervals since they are always open in the order topology on a set X the half open intervals from A sub naught inclusive of A sub naught to B and from A to B sub naught inclusive of B sub naught are in the order topology on the set X only if A sub naught is the least element and B sub naught is the greatest element. So the half open intervals are not always open. So next, as an example, let the collection script B be the set of all open intervals from M to N, where M and N are integers. Then the topology generated by the collection script B, which is the order topology on the set of integers, is the discrete topology. On the set of integers. So proof. Notice that the open interval from n minus 1 to n plus 1, which is the set of all those integers x, such that n minus 1 is strictly less than x, which is strictly less than n plus 1, is the 
singleton set containing the integer n, and hence every singleton set. is open in the order topology on the set of integers and so for every subset u of the set of integers that subset u is a union of singleton sets and therefore is open and thus the topology generated by the collection script B is the set of all subsets of the set of integers that is the topology generated by the collection script B is the discrete topology. On the set of integers. Okay, so new definition. Let X together with the relation less than be a simply ordered set. Given an element A in the set X, there are four subsets of the set X called the rays determined by the element A what we call the open ray from negative infinity to A, which is the set of all those elements X in the set X, such that X is strictly less than A, what we call the half open ray from A to, uh, rather from negative infinity to A inclusive of A, which is the set of all those elements X in the set X, such that x is less than or equal to a. What we call the open ray from a to positive infinity, which is the set of all those elements x in the set x, such that a is strictly less than x. Notice that this is equivalent to saying that the element x is strictly greater than a. And finally, what we call the half open ray from a to positive infinity inclusive of A, which is the set of all those elements X in the set X, such that A is less than or equal to X. And once again, notice that this is equivalent to saying that the element X is greater than or equal to A. Now the rays of the form from negative infinity to A and from A to positive infinity, neither of which includes the element A, are called open rays since they are always open in the order topology on a set X. So proof. If the underlying set X has a least element which we'll call A sub naught Then the open ray from negative infinity to A is the half open interval from A sub naught to A, which is open 
as it is a basic open set. Otherwise, the ray from negative infinity to A is a union of open intervals of the form n to A for all values of n less than A. So it is a union of basic open sets and therefore is open. So in either case, the interval from, or rather the ray from negative infinity to A is open. Now if the underlying set x has a greatest element, which we will call b sub naught, then the ray from a to positive infinity is the half open interval from a to b sub naught, inclusive of b sub naught which is open as it is a basic open set. Otherwise, the ray from A to positive infinity is a union of open intervals of the form A to N for all values of N greater than A. So it is a union of basic open sets and therefore is open. So in either case, the ray from A to positive infinity is open. Now the intervals of the form from A to B, inclusive of the endpoints A and B, are called closed intervals. Since they are always closed, in the order topology, on a set X. So proof. Since the complement of the closed interval from A to B is a union of the open ray from negative infinity to A with the open ray from B to positive infinity, it is a union of open sets and therefore is open and so the interval from A to B inclusive of A and B is closed. All right, so we will end here for today. Next time we will uh, continue to look at the general properties of the order topology. So I hope you have enjoyed the ninth lecture. Thanks for watching.